Hello everybody, Chris Thomas King here. It's a Friday evening here in Prairieville, Louisiana, somewhere in between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. And uh, it's a Friday evening. I think it's uh, September 18th, 2020. I'm here to let you guys know that uh, I'm missing the road. I love to be out there with my band with Jeff Mills, on the drums, Danny Infante on the bass guitar. And normally at this time of year, we'd be up and down the highway, sometimes even jetting around internationally, you know, but um, but like everybody else, I'm uh, wearing my mask, washing my hands, and trying to do the things that I know we need to do to, um, to stay safe. And so I hope you all are out there uh, doing the same. So, I'm going to be coming to you to talk to you about different projects. I mean, we're all, I don't know when I'm going to be back on the road. I thought I'd be on the road, you know, promoting my album. That's not going to be happening anytime soon. And uh, so hopefully maybe by next summer or something, uh, I'll be traveling around. I'm going to be telling you guys about different projects. So I told you about the new album, Angola. It's out at, on Spotify, iTunes. Uh, Pandora, wherever you get digital music, it's not a physical release just yet. You know, we have an option to do that later. But uh, it came out September 11th, and uh, look for it anywhere they, that, that you stream music. Um, another project that I have uh, going on is I finished my book. Finally finished it. It's um, being prepared for release. We have a release date. Uh, it's going to be released on June of next year. It's called The Blues, The Authentic Narrative of My Music and Culture. And I, people say, well, what is, this blue, what is this book about? It's not just about the blues. It's not necessarily a biography or a personal memoir, although it has some touches of that. It's a history of the blues. It's the first history of the blues, I would argue, that's ever been written. The blues as we know it has been folklore, you know, Anglo fairy tales, you know, the crossroads, you know, things about the Delta. Well, you know, that's not authentic uh, African-American history. There were never any slaves in the Mississippi Delta. Uh, there were never any, there's no black history that was in the Mississippi Delta. There were no people in the Mississippi Delta during antebellum times, at least black people, to create a music culture. It, it never happened. So the history that we have been led to believe existed, that's not our history. That's not the origins of black music in America. And, um, and so this book digs into all these details and you know, destroys some of these myths which are really antiquated uh, stereotypes uh, that need to be put away. Uh, and, but it, it tells you how the blues originated. And I'm not going to spoil the whole book and tell you all about it now. But I, I, I'm looking forward to talking to you about it. Uh, I'll make some videos for my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Chris Thomas King TV. Chris Thomas King TV YouTube. Uh, so you can find, find me there as I create videos. I'll be posting those videos. And hopefully you guys are, will, will be able to enjoy them. And I'll just take small subjects, you know, um, a little bit at a time. And we'll walk through that history. And, uh, and I'll look forward to getting some feedback from you all as well. And in the meantime, of course, I'll play some guitar and play some songs. We're in the 20th year of Old Brother Where Art Thou. It's been 20 years. Can you believe it? <laughs> 20 years ago, I sang Hard Time Killing Floor Blues at a campfire uh, for the movie. And uh, the rest, as they say, is history. But we're in the 20th year. I thought we'd be out on the road, maybe touring. I thought we'd be doing some kind of 20th anniversary concert here or there, maybe in Nashville. But uh, that's not happening. But uh, I am happy to be a part of uh, the Nashville Film Festival, where uh, I did an interview with Variety Magazine and. And, um, and I did uh, a performance, a tape performance. 
that I think they're going to show there at the at um, the Nashville Film Festival coming up the first week of October, starting October first. So those are some of the projects uh, that I have in mind that I that I have in mind to share with you guys over the next weeks and months until we can get out of this lockdown and uh, things can get back to normal and I can get get back in on the road and get back in the van with the band and uh, and, and bring our music to you live. So uh, wear your mask, wash your hands, you know, uh, take care, and uh, and I'll see you soon. Time to drive you 